Hi teachers, this quick video is going to show you how to take um, a worksheet or something that you may have created at a higher level um, where students are drawing in different things on that worksheet. Maybe this worksheet is in Word and how to recreate the same thing so students can actually drag and drop within Google Slides. So we're going to start with a Word document and then we're going to go ahead and open a Google slide presentation, just a blank one. Okay, so now that I'm in Google Slides, there are two different ways to approach this, and it definitely depends on what's in your original document and the format your original document is in. So if your original document is in Word, you will be able to copy and paste things. Um, but keeping in mind, formatting might tweak a little or change a little when you copy and paste. So for example, I'm going to take, I'm going to take just the first part and copy it. We're going to get rid of these text boxes because I want to paste onto a blank slide and it creates new text boxes for me. So I can see that this seemed to pull over nicely. The name blank, obviously, I'd, I'd change that a little bit. So I'm dragging things up, dragging things around, rearranging my boxes however I see fit. If you have things that you want to have students fill in, you'd want to create directions or a code for this. So for example, I might change my line Oops, wrong line. <laughs> I want to change, it's actually text, to red. Um, so maybe you have them go in and complete the red blanks. And you would just add this. Fill in these red blanks. So that's one option to straight copy and paste and you have things um, easily here. The next option that you might have is simply copying and pasting using the snipping tool. So on your computer you should have um, one of two snipping tools. There's the regular old snipping tool and then there's snip and sketch which has actually um, eventually will replace the old snipping tool. They work the same, the buttons are in a slightly different place. I'll show the snipping tool just because that's what people are familiar with. So I'm going to go back to my Word document and this time instead of copying and pasting, I'm just going to take a picture of the same thing right click on the picture, copy, and then I will come back over to, oops, not my YouTube channel. I will come back over to my document. I'm going to put this on the second slide so you can see that I have the same exact thing here. Um, so in this case, if I'm doing something like this, this is where I'd want to add text boxes for my students. So I would simply make a text box on the line Sometimes um, you may want to take those text boxes and make them a dotted line or something so that students realize that they can be filled in. Obviously, don't forget those digital directions. So because you're turning this paper worksheet into a digital worksheet, you do need to make sure that at the top you still have some directions. So you have that ability. Now that's for filling in the blank, which is something that you can also tweak and decide if you, you can reformat things um, if there's a better way to approach it with students. I want to show though how you can use this for some awesome drag and drop, which is where we get into the next part of a potential worksheet. So on this worksheet, students are actually drawing in the electrons on the atoms. 
So we're going to highlight this first copy. We're going to copy it and then we're going to go back into and we're going to add just a blank slide. And we're going to paste. All right. Again, we've got to do some moving around. So dragging this down here, make my directions go across the top, shrink that up. So some things copy super nicely, you'll notice, and other things not so much. You may want to, just because of how this box is arranged, copy and paste your text directions, but then the snipping tool might be better to put in things where the, the images are. So I am going to snip this here. I'm going to copy that. Again, wrong page. Paste it in. So I can see that this example has been done for me. So then on the next page, I'm actually going to duplicate this and I'm going to delete this one, and I'm going to take a picture of the next one. Pulling back this, pulling this back up, using my snipping tool, taking a picture, probably should have moved my page up a little bit. Okay, I got it. Copy. And then I'm going to put this here. So here is where you might have students, you might give them directions to learn to add to this. You see colored dots at the bottom of the page to stuff. It's been a little while since I took this level of science. <laughs> okay, so then I would actually take and add. We're going to use shapes. We're going to take and make a little circle here, however big you want your electron to be. You may even want to drag this electron up and make sure it's a size that you want it. Now, um, here's where I'm actually going to rig Google Slides and make Google Slides look like it's giving a copy of things, but it's not necessarily a copy. So I'm going to do a copy using Control C, and then I'm going to just, oops, wrong, wrong copy. I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to Control V a bunch of times so I have plenty of electrons. And then I'm going to take my arrow and I'm going to drag around all those electrons and select a line top, a line horizontal. So now I have a stack of electrons on top of each other. I'm going to highlight them all. Probably should have done this one first. I want them to be red. So now as I drag, my electrons up, you notice that I have plenty of electrons to drag on this atom that I don't remember anything about. So you can do it that way um, by creating a stack. This is typically what we do, especially for younger students, or you can simply have one and you can put a little direction box next to this and say something about Use control plus C and control plus V to copy and drag your electrons together. And obviously, you can have different colored um, electrons there. Do be aware that you will need to give students directions on how you want to, them to complete the text section. So 
So that's where you could potentially um, make copies of things and have where students can actually type in there, or you can use that, that format of adding the text box where they can type. The one last thing that you can be aware of, and it's not super easy to use, but Google Slides does have the ability down here um, in the lines for students to use the scribble. So the scribble is kind of like writing. And it's the closest that there is to a pen tool in Google Slides. So that's always an option too that you can share with students. Um, but Google Slides is by far the easiest way to quickly create a drag and drop that works for students on pretty much any device. Actually, any device which has access to Google Slides.